The chances are that a lot of you are like me and your Wii U has been suffering from neglect, having not been turned on for weeks or even months, as you just can't justify the high prices of games on this poorly supported console. Don't get me wrong, I really like and enjoy the games I do have, but they are few and far between. So in this video I'm going to show you all how to mod the Wii U to get the most out of this underused console. For this we will need a Wii U with firmware 5.5.1 that's connected to the internet, an SD card up to 32 gigs in size, this being the max compatible card for this mod at the moment, and access to an internet connected computer. Interested? Then let's go. Assuming you're already connected to the internet, the first thing we want to do is block future updates. This is easily achieved by going to Settings, Internet, Connect to the Internet, Connection List, then select your live connection and change settings. Scroll right to DNS and change it to Do Not Auto Obtain and enter the following. For the primary DNS type, 107.211.140.065. And 104.236.072.230 for the secondary DNS. Then OK and confirm followed by save and perform test. Next, we go back out to the first settings screen, click on System Update, and then the Update button to see where we successful. An error has occurred? Brilliant. Now we need to put your 32 gig or smaller SD card into your computer and format it. If possible, use a brand name SD card and it will reduce the chance of errors. I'm using GUI Format X64, but the standard option with your machine should be equally as useful. Make sure to format it using FAT32. That completed, we need to download a zip file and copy its content to your freshly formatted SD card. To download it, simply click on the link in the description below. When the 7 zip file is downloaded and uncompressed, copy the Wii U folder to the root of your SD card. In order to play Wii U games from the SD, you must create another folder within the Wii U folder called Games. Remember, it's completely illegal to have backups of games you don't actually own, but if you do own them, your backups will be copied into this folder. We are going to be setting up a SNES and Game Boy Advance emulator also, so why not copy your SNES and Game Boy Advance ROMs to the root of the SD card now, to save us having to do it later. All done? Put the SD card into your Wii U and we'll continue over there. Back on your Wii U we need to enter the internet browser, and when it opens press Y to enter bookmark settings. That done, we press the first one and change the link to http colon slash slash L O A D I I N E dot O V H slash. Feel free to change the description also. When completed, press done, and now we are free to launch the Wii U Homebrew Launcher. When it opens, we are greeted with an option to select our program. There are several options, but the default suggestion is normally the most stable, so it's best to choose that one. Just press submit, and this will load the launcher. Now we need to head to the Homebrew App Store and are prompted that we must touch anywhere to continue before we are shown what's available to us. It's worth keeping an eye in here from time to time and accept the updates when they are available, but right now we need to select and install both the Game Boy Advance and SNES emulators to play our RAM files. When you're done, press the Home button to exit out to the Homebrew Launcher main menu. Next, if we press the arrow to the right of the screen, it will show us the two emulators we have just downloaded. Both of these emulators currently run through RetroArch, so it makes sense that other emulators should follow in the future. To play your Wii U backups, head to Loadline GX2 and then Load. When this opens, it shows all the available playable Wii U backups that you have on your SD card, and needs to be double pressed to initialize play. This launches another window, which if an update folder is available can be selected, but simply pressing OK will launch the games also. From within a game, pressing the home button and close software, you are brought back to the Wii U home screen. 
From here, loading Me Maker will bring you straight back to Load Line if you wish to select another game, or you can simply turn off the console when you're done. That's pretty much it for this video. As always, if you've any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And until next time, keep it retro. Beep.